When it comes to content management, organizations have the wrong priorities. They spend millions on content management systems when they should be focusing their investment on the content itself. And that is where open source can help. I'm working with a client at the moment who's budgeted two million for the procurement of their content management system. Two million pounds. It just boggles my mind. But that is what you pay for an enterprise level content management system these days. A system that is robust, scalable, and has the level of support a grown up organization needs. At least that's what the CMS vendors will tell you. Now, I'm not a developer, and I'm no expert in technical architecture, security, or scalability. Yet I've talked with a lot of these providers of commercial content management systems, and in all those conversations, I've never heard anything that makes me think that what they offer is preferable to an open source solution. I'm a huge fan of open source. In fact, I struggle to think of a scenario where I'd recommend a commercial CMS over an open source one. Open source just makes more sense to me. The most obvious benefit is value for money. Why pay huge amounts of money for a content management system when there are open source systems freely available? When a content management system itself is free, you can focus your investment on more important areas, areas such as performance, security, robustness, things like the content itself and customizing the CMS to your specific needs. Bizarrely, this seems to make many organizations nervous. How can it be any good if the system is freely available? But that kind of thinking doesn't apply in the world of open source. It just doesn't make sense. Investment in new features is down to demand, not how much it costs to develop. Also, an open source project like Drupal has thousands of volunteers working on it. These volunteers pour way more hours into their system than any commercial vendor could possibly justify. This means more features, but it also means less bugs. The more eyes looking at the code, the more bugs they'll spot and fix. The fact that an open source CMS is free to download also means that many more developers are using it. This will make recruitment for your digital team oh so much easier. No need to com compete for the handful of developers with experience of your commercial platform. The number of people using a platform like Drupal also means an excellent community supporting it. If you're facing a problem in Drupal, a quick Google will turn up somebody who's faced the problem before and solved it. This community doesn't just help overcome problems, they're also adding to the power of the application. No more waiting and hoping for a commercial CMS provider to decide to roll out that piece of functionality that you desperately need. The chances are somebody has already built it and that they've shared it online. Even if they haven't, there are ample developers out there you can get to build a plugin specifically for you. With so many reasons to use open source, it's amazing that organizations still avoid them. Yet they do. Some of the reasons organizations avoid open source solutions are purely political. Buying a commercial platform is the safe choice, at least if that's how it's perceived. It's how IT departments have always done things. You buy an off-the-shelf system which has got support and your job is done. Nobody gets fired for playing safe, for doing the thing that's always been done. But that's not always the reason. Some organizations have concerns about open source systems like Drupal, but they're concerns that in my opinion are largely unjustified. Take for example, the fact that open source solutions are sometimes perceived to not be as robust or scalable as commercial systems. But these days, that's a very hard argument to make. After all, millions of websites rely on Drupal, many of which experience very high levels of traffic. Sites like the White House or Oxfam or CERN. There are many, many more besides just those three. Sites of every size and in every sector. Now, there are also experts like Acquia who specialize in providing Drupal hosting. Hosting that scales and remains reliable under the, even the heaviest of loads. Experts that could also help with another criticism leveled at open source, that of security. Many claim that if your source code is available to the world, you're making it easy for people to hack. And at face value, this seems like it makes sense, but in reality, it just isn't true. 
By making your code open to all, security holes are quickly spotted by the community and plugged. Yes, there will be a few bad apples looking to breach that security, but there'll be many, many more people looking to make that code as secure as possible. For example, you can bet the US government is keen to ensure the White House website is not vulnerable to hackers. Of course, if you have concerns about this, you can once again turn to a company like Acquia to provide that extra level of security. And they can also help with another criticism that's often leveled at open source, that of support. One of the most common objections about open source is that it doesn't have the support when things go wrong. Companies are willing to pay a lot of money to make sure there's somebody there to help them if they have a problem. But that doesn't mean that you have to buy a commercial system. You can hire a company to provide support for your open source system. But with such a strong community, even that is often not necessary. There's no shortage of places you can turn if you need help solving a problem. Of course, this is all well and good as long as your community remains robust, but what happens if your choice of open source CMS falls out of favor? What if developers stop developing it and the community just fades away? Now, this is possible, it might happen, but choices like Drupal have been around for years What's more, there's many prominent sites reliant on them, so let's be honest, it's pretty unlikely it's gonna happen. In fact, there's more chance that your CMS vendor will stop supporting your commercial platform. Remember my client who's spending two million on their CMS? Well, they're having to do so because the company who ran their old content management system is no longer supporting it. Look, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with commercial content management systems. I'm just saying that there are better places you could spend your money. You could spend it on customizing your open source system to better suit your organization's specific needs. Or you could spend it on building a content team that produce high quality content. My point is that we should think long and hard before spending money um, that could be better spent elsewhere that we should make our default position open source and have really good reasons if we want to consider going with a commercial solution instead.